Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. So today I'm going to be talking about Toxic Moonshine. What is it? How does it work? And is it worth buying in Red Dead Online? I wanted to make a few videos going over some of the new weapons that were added into Red Dead Online with the Moonshiners update. I know a lot of these can be quite expensive and you might be wondering if it's worth spending your money or not. So hopefully these videos can keep you informed and not let you buy anything that kind of sucks. So Toxic Moonshine isn't something you actually brew in your Moonshine business, but it's a new throwable weapon you can use. Toxic Moonshine creates a cloud of toxic fumes on impact, choking and disorientating enemies. If you want to get your hands on it, you can buy it from Maggie for $5 each, or you can buy the pamphlet to craft them yourself for $500 or 20 gold bars if you want to pay in gold. Once you purchase the pamphlet, you can craft them yourself at a campfire using oleander sage and either milkweed or yarrow, so you can have the choice of using one or the other, and you'll also need a moonshine bottle. But yeah, I did some testing with the toxic moonshine, and when you throw it, it's actually going to create a big cloud of toxic moonshine that's going to last around 35 seconds, so there's quite a long duration on this one. And if you're caught inside of this cloud, you're definitely going to know about it. It's going to drain your health very rapidly, and it's also going to really disorientate you, so you're not really able to defend yourself. So using this against other players is definitely the most effective way to use your toxic moonshine. If you've got somebody camping in a certain area, or someone's inside of, the, of a house, toxic moonshine is the best way to flush them out. From some of my testing here, it took around 15 seconds to kill a player from full health. So it actually takes off health very quickly and it basically forces people to leave a certain area if they're camping. Another fun thing with the Toxic Moonshine is if you actually have it within your hand and you start boxing people, you can actually smash it over people's heads. Obviously if you are that close to them, you're probably going to end up taking some damage yourself. So I'd recommend using it as more of a throwable object. Like you can just see in the gameplay the huge effect the Toxic Moonshine is having on my character. You know, if I'm in a PvP situation and someone throws this at me and is shooting at me, there's going to be no real way I'm going to defend myself. So if you're getting hit with one of these Toxic Moonshine bottles, you're pretty much done for. I also did some testing with the Toxic Moonshine on NPCs. However, it doesn't really seem to have the same effect it would on players. The NPCs don't really seem to avoid it or clear out like a normal player would. And I think you're better off just using your weapons against NPCs since you can take them out easily with um, one or two shots of a weapon rather than throwing moonshine and having to wait for that to take its damage effect. But yeah, I think my overall review is that the Toxic Moonshine is a must purchase in Red Dead Online and to be used mostly against other players in PvP. Also, before I end today's video, I'm actually planning on doing a very big announcement within the next couple of days. It's a project I've been working on for a couple of years now, and I've not talked about it publicly at all, so I'm really excited to finally get it out there, and I'm going to be announcing it on my social media pages uh, within the next week, and I'm also going to be launching a giveaway on social media to kind of celebrate the launch of it. So feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I'll have the links to those in the description of the video if you want to head over there and follow me. It would really mean a lot if you guys could support me on this one, as it's a project I've just been working on for such a long time. And I really do believe it's something you guys are going to really, really enjoy. I'll also have a link on screen to my Moonshine Tips and Tricks video. I basically go over 20 huge helpful tips for your Moonshine business to rank up a lot quicker and make the most money possible. So I'll have a link to that if you guys missed it. Thank you guys so much for watching this one all the way to the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.